Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from Walt Disney World. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to try to attempt to ride every single must do attraction here at Disney World across the four parks. And if you guys don't understand what I mean by riding the must do attractions, basically riding the rides around the parks that you can't miss, that you have to ride, that everybody wants to ride with the wait times being pretty high compared to just the smaller standard rides around the park. I'm excited. I think we can do it. It's going to be a long day, but it's going to be a really fun day. And I'm sure I'll show you some updates along the way. Sounds fun. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Okay, for my first park, I'm starting here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I have rides such as Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, and Slinky Dog Dash. As of right now, I do not have a Rise of the Resistance boarding group because they're all gone at this current moment. I'll just come back or maybe we'll just have to skip it for today because getting a Rise of the Resistance boarding group still is quite challenging. Rope drop was about 25 minutes ago, so it does look a little more crowded than normal, but from the parking lot, the park doesn't seem too bad. With Disney's new mask policy, you can find these new signs pretty much everywhere you go inside, such as Mickey's of Hollywood right here. My first attraction of today brings us here to the Hollywood Tower Hotel for Tower of Terror, which is a 60 minute wait currently. Looks kind of bad, but the line is moving. check into a deserted hotel on the dark side of Hollywood. Make sure you know just what kind of vacancy you're filling. Just got off Tower of Terror. Now I know the 50th anniversary is coming up, but I feel like Disney quietly updated this attraction because the sound was just really nice, it was much louder, and the video graphics, the effects, were brighter. I don't know, it could just be me, but I feel like they've updated this ride. Next up, Rock and Roller Coaster. It is a 75 minute wait. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have now entered Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It is pretty crowded in here. For Smuggler's Run, they have opened up the backstage area for the queue line, the extended queue line, but we're gonna hop in line to have a ride on Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. It is currently a 105 minute wait. Yes, it's pretty busy. Good luck to you all. 
You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Hold on, my friends. See you in the cockpit. Everything okay? For your safety, remain seated and supervise your friends. Next up, Slinky Dog Dash. It is currently 120 minutes, but the line is moving at a really good pace. But also, you do have Toy Story Mania. Of course, if you do have little ones, this is a Disney must-do. However, I would not call this a Disney must-do because later on in the day, the wait time will go down, and it's pretty much a walk-on. I'm passing by Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I wouldn't call this a Disney must do, but if you have not been on this ride before, definitely ride it at least once, or if you have little ones, ride it. But overall, I just personally don't think this is a must do. Like, I'm okay with skipping this ride. That's going to do it from here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. One park down, three more to go. We did not get a Rise of the Resistance boarding group, but that is an attraction you cannot miss here at Hollywood Studios. I made it here to our next park. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom, but look at the train station. The scrim is starting to come down. It looks really good. All right, let's go ride some rides. Look at this. Halloween and the fall decorations are out. Not all of them just yet. We have a ton of bunting. The pumpkins are here. Some reefs are here, not the Mickey pumpkin head reefs just yet. Wow, it's happening already. The scarecrows are not out just yet as we have the Dapper Dans up there singing to us. 
middle of Main Street, USA. However, though, the brand new Halloween merchandise has not yet made it to the shelves. Coming up on the partner statue, it has completely been refurbished. Looks really good. I got a little closer to see the brand new medallion. It looks really good. And during the fireworks show, during Happily Ever After, the medallion actually goes with the castle projections. Heading inside Tomorrowland first to go have a ride on Space Mountain. Also today, Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor has reopened. Here's the line. First ride up here at the Magic Kingdom, Space Mountain. It says it is only a 20 minute wait. Let's hope that's the case. Yeah, it was just about 20 minutes to ride Space Mountain. It's definitely the shortest wait I've waited today. I don't think I've said this yet, but masks are required everywhere, indoors, at Walt Disney World right now, as of the beginning of August 2021, so you do have to wear a mask when you ride the attractions. And then, as soon as you get back outside, you can take your face covering off. Ooh, check this out. Looks like Cheshire Cafe has reopened. Of course, the famous cattail, the slushy, pepper jack pretzel, Cold brew. Next up, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It is currently a 95 minute wait, but we are getting a little bit of extra magic for this ride. We did it. Seven Doors Mine Train was such a fun time, but I'm passing by Princess Fairytale Hall and look how gold and shiny the entrance looks. Looks like Disney has refurbished the archway here. Looks really good. Next attraction up brings us here to Peter Pan's flight. It is currently a 65 minute wait.
Next up, I'm going to go ride the Haunted Mansion. The wait is a 50 minute wait. Eh, it does look pretty long, but it is worth it. This chamber has no windows and no doors. There's always my way. Passing by the Hall of Presidents, which has reopened with a brand new animatronic, Mr. Joe Biden. Looks like Disney is redoing some decking. Also, on the other side of Country Bear Jamboree, Disney is redoing some more decking over here. Okay, I only have two more attractions left here inside of the Magic Kingdom, both Splash Mountain and Big Thunder. Both are a 40 minute wait right now. Let's go do Big Thunder first. This ride is so rough. The goat.
made it. Last ride up here at the Magic Kingdom, Splash Mountain. Drop number one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Disney is doing some painting right up top of Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain took a little bit longer than I thought, but we did it. Looks like a storm may be coming in, but there's no stopping us today. That was us just a minute ago getting soaked. We have some of the country bears up top saying hello. Good to see you, man. <laughs> As we have the band coming through. Two other rides that I do want to mention. The first one, Pirates of the Caribbean and the Jungle Cruise. I'm not going to count these as must-do Disney attractions, but if you have never rode them, definitely give them a ride. But I want to point out the brand new sign for Jungle Cruise as Disney is upgrading this ride. I've already rode the new version of the Jungle Cruise over at Disneyland. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and leave it down in the description below. But this ride is going to be all new as far as storytelling. Okay, that's gonna do it here from Magic Kingdom. Let's head over to our next park. The next park up brings us here to Disney's Animal Kingdom. I haven't done a four park challenge in quite the while. <laughs> By the way, I'm here with my friend, Andy. Hey. <laughs> I forgot. This challenge wears you out. Oh no, looks like our first must do attraction here at Animal Kingdom is currently closed. Expedition Everest, dang. Well, when you guys are here, ride Expedition Everest because it is a Disney must do. Well, since Everest is still closed, let's go have a ride on Dinosaur. It's only a 30 minute wait currently. such a fun ride but I wanted to point out Disney has removed all of the dinosaur exclusive themed merchandise inside of this gift shop and I don't know why I have no clue to why they removed 
the dinosaur merchandise. You can still find like some dinosaur t-shirts, but that's about all. I don't know. But I'm interested to know why. Next ride up, Kilimanjaro Safaris. It was about a 30 minute wait. And here we are, enjoy the ride. Check out the black rhino right there. I did not bring my zoom lens today, so I do apologize. He's over there eating, eating his dinner. Look at those Nile crocodiles, scary. There's some African wild dogs. There's some wildebeest. There's a lot of them. There's a few giraffes back there, but it's dinner time, so they're hanging out waiting to be let in so they can eat. We have some more wildebeest. This one's itching. Look at this massive African elephant right here. Wow. I don't think you guys can really see, but there's some more African elephants off in the distance. One's right there. There's another one behind this boulder. And there's two more, including the baby one back that way. There's the flamingos eating a lot of brine shrimp at the moment. You guys see the Hidden Mickey Island right there in the middle? Fun fact, it looks like Disney is doing some refurbishments on the lion enclosure here for the 50th anniversary. Here's the Warden's Outpost. Yeah, the goats are pretty small. That one's itching. They're so cute. Look at them looking at us. And that's going to conclude our safari. Okay, it is going on 7 o'clock p.m., which is when Animal Kingdom closes. We're gonna run over to Pandora, the world of Avatar, have a ride on Flight of Passage, and then it's off to Epcot. Our last ride here at Disney's Animal Kingdom brings us here to Flight of Passage. Right now, it is a 80 minute wait before the park closes. The wait could be better, but it's not bad. Let's hop in line. Oh my goodness, we are getting a little bit of extra magic right now through the fast pass line that's going to get us over to epcot much sooner than expected you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing navi ride of passage riding on the back of a banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an avatar sivak hope rise to the challenge good luck all right you ready yeah let's yeah. get you into the link chamber all right fabric she was going to try to hide above the ground and that's why we'll move the car will move for the four and a half minute flight. If you have a fear of heights, a front motion sickness, and when I stay seated for the entire flight, then we'd like to opt out, let me know. And please keep those face coverings on until you exit the building. Now one through eight, you're gonna follow me, nine through 16. Attention drivers, eight. stow your gear on the back wall and then get onto the link chair the way we showed you in the video. Then put on your flight visors. For your safety throughout this entire experience, remain seated. Lean forward, holding on to the hand grips, and supervise your children. Para su seguridad, durante toda esta experiencia deberán permanecer sentados. Inclinarse hacia adelante agarrando las barras y supervisen a sus niños. Gracias.
exit the link chamber. Okay, that's gonna do it here from Animal Kingdom. Let's head to our final park, Epcot. And just like that, we have made it here to Epcot. This is our last park out of the four parks. We have three rides, Frozen, Test Track, and Soarin'. And that will be it of the must-do attractions here at Disney World in 2021. Oh, I just missed the monorail. It just went by. Only a 25 minute wait for Soren. I'll take it. The current time is 8.10. The park closes at 9 p.m. tonight. Epcot closes pretty early because it is during the week right now. We have two more rides, Frozen and Test Track. I think we're gonna head to Test Track first and try our chances with Frozen right before the park closes. Okay, here we are at Test Track. Standby is currently a 55 minute wait. Ooh, but single rider is 20. So let's do that. I decided to hop in the standby line because it was not 55 minutes, it was more like 15. But look, the design studio has returned. We made a ridiculous car, but I think we're gonna win. Well, the current time is 8.56. I don't think we'll have enough time to make it over to Frozen, but we did good. I think we rode 15 rides today. Yeah, there's no way I can make it over to Norway with it being 8.59. We just ran out of time by minutes. <laughs> there's no need in me sprinting over to Norway because right at nine o'clock, they will close the line down. Whoa, Epcot Forever just started. Look at that shot oh, yeah. with the monorail going by, with the fireworks in the background. I will say it's pretty awesome walking around Epcot and now the World Showcase and watching the fireworks from different angles throughout the park. With that, good night Epcot. What a way to end the video. The finale. Oh yeah. And just like that, I made it back to where we started this morning at Disney's Hollywood Studios. What a fun day. I'm very tired, I'm very exhausted, but it was such a fun day. It was definitely one of my most favorite Walt Disney World days today just because I was able to ride so many of my favorite rides all in one day and I wanted to make this video just to show you guys you can still get a lot done right now I know it's crowded I know wait times look scary but if you have patience and if you hit the rides at the right time and if you're at the right park at the right time you can really have a successful day at Disney World I think we did 
15 rides, which that's awesome. 15 of the biggest rides at Disney. I mean, we did it all. We just missed Frozen by minutes, but that's okay. Frozen Ever After is definitely a must-do attraction. But that's going to do it for me in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys felt like you were here with me doing this challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, thank you so much for all the love and the support in my last video. I read just about every single comment and... You guys are awesome. I love you all very much. Remember, be nice, nice to be nice, nice and Prince Charming out. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly with those gonna lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside. Otherwise you told me